see what it said. It's like, even I don't know, or have not, I just now got it, I've only had it for 10 minutes, and oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, this is, can only be decoded through those of you who have um, your frequency vibrating high enough in order to be able to um, receive and understand the information. It's like this. Has Veritas chosen you? Will Veritas choose you? <laughs> okay. Uh, but what I'm being shown from the Veritas is that at this point in time, there's a, over 200 people who will all receive a piece of Veritas, of one of the paintings, and new paintings are being painted as of two days ago. Jennifer started again. Veritas showed me that that meant that there are people who, new people, new people, younger souls, brand new, brand new people who can receive who will become the Sangrail which means those who will become the Sangrail will embody the powers of Jesus all on varying levels and varying degrees we will all have different abilities and different good things we can do and different um, strengths and weaknesses you know nobody will have the exact same Thing, but you know there'll be mathematicians and astrologists and numerologists and healers and teachers and um, and uh, earth kings and earth there'll be like all kinds of good stuff you guys you know like the masters of your craft but Veritas will choose you uh, there's over 200 paintings this is Dateline this is twice the size of my Veritas that was given to me well actually this is there's mine, and I only get one. There's over 200 paintings, and Jennifer started a new one a few days ago, which means there's brand new people who have never been Sangrail, who have never embodied the powers of Jesus, and who have never, the younger souls, there are brand new openings for um, thrones at the, uh, to become Sangrail. Your crown is knowledge, okay? Knowledge, information. I know Veritas tells me I shouldn't talk so much. He wants to talk right now. This is Dateline with my fainty painting right there over it. This is Dateline. I'm so excited. I've never really got a close look at it. Jennifer keeps it put up, you know, where I've only got to glimpse at it a few times. But this is Dateline. Past, present, and future events, cosmic events that will cause, um, uh, events to happen that will change the entire frequency of Earth and everybody. Everything will change once the vibrations change, and there are certain dates, past, present, and future, where certain events will happen, cosmic events that will change the frequency of Earth and that will wipe out those who observe it and who will enhance and empower and um, infuse those who choose to become. family of this earth and that means that anybody who hurts people, kills people, exploits people, hurts people, anybody that hurts creation or anybody or anything, and anybody that, okay I'll be quiet, Veritas is reminding me I'm not God, I'm just the messenger, <laughs> I'm not the judge, so he tells me to be quiet because the judge is to be judged and boy do I have a stack of, of judgments against me. <laughs> okay, now I took my Veritas off. Remember I put it over that? Showed you that mine only came to like right here. And down. And half of it. So this is like over twice as big as mine. This is Dateline. This is for Leo. King Leo. This is for Leo. Oh. Oh, and Jennifer doesn't know anything about Leo, you know? I haven't told her anything about Leo. And I told her that somebody sent me a picture of my, it looked like my room with my blanket. You know, I, I'm not sure if it was my room or somebody recreated my room. And I told her, oh, somebody, I don't know how, it was like, am I being spied on? Somebody in my room? And I told her it was from 333 and that there was a shadow of a lion on the wall. You know, she was, was the lion in your room? And I'm like, no, no, it looked like my room, even though it could have been recreated. But the, whoever sent me the picture put the shadow, big shadow of the lion over on the wall, over what 
looks like my bed, same blanket, everything. And I go, I was a little, she goes, don't be scared, it's good. I go, it is? I go, how do, could you know? She goes, I just know. I go, it's not from 333. She goes, don't worry, it's good. It's good. She knows nothing about Leo. She don't like talking about the reptilians. She don't like talking about George Bush. She don't like talking about the Hells Angels. She don't like talking about a whole bunch of stuff, really at all. She's not interested in Queen Elizabeth or the Illuminati or the Masons. Um, so I don't tell her a whole bunch. We don't like, you know, because, you know, in, in time she will be able to talk about that stuff. But a lot of stuff I talk about, just people don't want to talk about yet. <laughs> and when it's time, they will. Eventually we're going to need to talk about it, though. Troy Regas. I, I put Windex on my mirror to erase the people's name by sent to hell. Guess what? Yvonne Regas's name wouldn't come off. Queen Elizabeth's name wouldn't come off. 7 plus 1 equals 8. The Anunnaki wouldn't come off. Troy Regas came off, but the, all the Hells Angels did not come off. And Charles Leary Miller did not come off. But Master Mason and all the Master Masons came off. <laughs> with the wind, I sprayed Windex over the whole mirror, so Troy Regas's name disappeared. But all the Hells Angels stayed. Yvonne Regas would not even budge. I mean, that's really still totally there. And Queen Elizabeth would not come off. Charles Larry Miller would not come off. All of the Hells Angels would not come off. And the 7 plus 1 equals 8, the Anunnaki, um, would not come off. I don't know what that means. I'll have to, I'll have to use more Windex. <laughs> but it definitely does not want to come off from here. <laughs> okay, Veritas. I'll be quiet. <laughs> The truth will set you free. This is for Leo. This is Dateline. But this is for all of you right now. And those of you who are worthy of the, being able to... I'm not the judge. I'm just the messenger. But Homer, our creator, he knows your heart. And if you prove to him... If he, if he believes that you are worthy of this information and be able to understand and decode it, what it means, then he will make it so that you know and you have dreams and you understand. But the rest of you won't. <laughs> Unless everybody has a pure heart. But if you don't have a pure heart, then you don't get no information. But I'm not the judge, okay? When my heart doesn't, when my heart becomes not pure sometimes, I don't get information, I get disillusioned. <laughs> yeah. But when my heart is pure, it, the information comes through pretty clear. I'm so excited. This is for Leo. This is for Jesus. Jesus. And Jennifer said, the lion and the 333, she said, it's good. Whatever it is, don't be afraid. You can trust them. They're good. They're powerful. They're good. They're protecting me. I'm like, protecting me, my ass. Okay, I didn't say it out loud, but that's what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah, right? But then again, I don't know, maybe she knows more than I do, but as far as I can tell, though, Leo has not ever really intended to protect me or help me, as far as I can see, but Jennifer seems to think different, so I don't know. Oh, Leo, I get so mad at him sometimes. Oh. Anyway, Leo, date line, this is you, date line, this is for you, this painting. But it's for everybody. All of the Veritas, all of this information is for all of you. Really. Everybody can draw the information. And it can, you can decode it and it can reflect your memory and wisdom, the mind of God, whatever you want to call it. In other words, those who are, the secrets are revealed to will be whoever Homer decides, Veritas decides. But nobody will be able to understand, decode, alter, mess with, um, do anything to any of this information. It's They cannot touch it. Nobody can decode it, nobody can mess with it, nobody can alter it, nobody can manipulate it, nobody. only way that you will ever be able to understand their test or receive this information is if you are pure of heart. And if you're not, then, then become pure of heart. Forgive. For, forgive. Be nice. Stop kicking your dog. Stop beating your wife. Stop beating your child. Well, Troy Regas, you are on my shit list, even though your name came off the mirror. Well, your name came off, but all the Hells Angels stayed wouldn't come off, so it looks like all the Hells Angels are going to be paying for your karmic debt, because your ass, you, you got more blood on your hands. Troy Regas, only person that probably has more blood on their hands is your mother, Yvonne. 
I believe it's the more evil, just as evil as the Queen of Elizabeth. Okay, Trey, be nice. Don't judge. Oh, I don't like that. Well, if I saw you find Migus right now, I'd slap that bitch silly. What she did to Troy, putting him in them cages when he was a little boy and having sex with him and raping him and making him eat the dead mommies, the women they sacrificed, and putting him in the cages with the dead women for weeks. She, Yvonne, you were awful mean evil. You better bow down on your knees and ask for forgiveness because I tell you what, your name is the strongest one that would not come off that mirror, which shows me that you are the most evil person in this world. Ooh, Queen Elizabeth and Yvonne Regis. Yeah. I have to, I'm, I, oh, oh, I, I, the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. Oh, but I definitely, maybe I love them, but I definitely, but Elizabeth and Yvonne Regas, you two, know this. Just know this. I know that you know that I know that you know that I know. Ooh, Dateline's making me angry. Dateline is making me super angry at women right now. Elizabeth and Yvonne. Dateline is making me mad at those two women. I think I'm going to go to Reno. Oh yeah, I don't have a car or any money. Nor a license. Or... Yeah, okay. Well, anyhow, <laughs> I'll travel to the mirror. Yvonne Regis, actually, you're on my shit list. Troy Regis, you're off the hood. For some reason, Veritas says just leave you alone, let you heal, go get your son, your other son, your, go get your son. Your mom knows where he is. Yvonne, 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 Yvonne. Ooh, go get your son, Troy. Yvonne, I'm coming after you. Not to hurt you, but because I know that you got something, someone very. You're, I know that you are hurting a lot of people, but you're hurting that baby. You're hurting that baby, you evil woman. 